So I've been seeing more and more people talk about switching from Rome Research to Obsidian. So I've dug in a bit deeper and I still can't do it. Um, I really appreciate the work the Obsidian team is putting in. It's come a long way. Um, I may switch eventually at some point, but right now there's still a few big deal breakers for me. So I thought I'd walk through and show you why I'm still sticking with Rome Research for the time being. First one for me is Chromebooks. I'm on a Windows machine now, Windows machine at work, but I'm on Chromebooks a lot in between. And there are ways to get Obsidian there. It's just not pretty. It doesn't sync well. Some of the plugins don't work. It's just, it's a weird setup to try to deal with. Rome just works. Now, granted, you need to have internet. Um, Obsidian has that big advantage of the local file storage, which doesn't matter to me as much, but I certainly can see it appealing to others. So in my case, though, that's really a negative for Obsidian uh, compared to Rome. Uh, the next one is to-do items. To-dos in Rome work great. Um, they all show up on one page. If I click on the to-do thing, I can see all my to-dos on one page. I have filters I can take it out. Obsidian doesn't really have filters. They have some search stuff that sort of works, but not quite as good. But just seeing all the to-dos in one place with good filters is hard to beat. And then I can do cool things like I have this to-do cleanup page. that has some pretty robust queries, but I can look in here quickly to see if there's any to-dos that have slipped through the cracks anywhere. Um, I've talked about this in other videos, but just quickly see, yep, there's one that slipped through. It's the video I'm working on now, so it doesn't really matter. But it's nice to see that at a quick glance, and Obsidian makes that difficult to do. And along those same lines, if I want to add another to-do in Rome, I can say another thing to do, make it a to-do. Um, it's right there just in line in my daily notes, in this other note, whatever, but it automatically shows up in my main list of to-dos. There's another thing to do, and also shows up in that cleanup. So if I were to forget about it today and it drifts, I would still catch it. And then if I scheduled it for later, if I want to make this, you know, it's scheduled for today or whatever and mark it as scheduled, as soon as I mark it as scheduled, it disappears from this page. Really works awfully well. Another piece I really like in Rome is to be able to quickly collapse sections so I can, you know, collapse things in and out and keep things clean just to get an overview of what's going on and then expand as needed. Um, Obsidian sort of has that with their table of contents thing, their outliner, but it's not quite the same and not nearly as easy. Uh, another piece is the clean, easy block references. You know, in Rome, you can just do a double parenthesis to start a block reference and start searching for whatever you want to do. Um, I pulled in a couple Bible verses because I do a lot of references to that. And this offers a few advantages. Um, one is quickly, easily pull them in. But also, if I were to pull up the block, I can see other places it was referenced. So I can click on that. The other place that I talked about it, there's actual notes from the church one day um, and other references. Uh, the other problem, if I jump to Obsidian for a second, is typing them in takes a little more work. It's not just a double bracket. Really, you have to do an exclamation mark, bracket, bracket, and then caret, caret. Um, and then you can start searching. So we'll do Matthew 5.3. And it pulls it in, but of course, the lack of a WYSIWYG view, which I know they're working on, means you have to do the preview, which you can toggle back and forth or do two windows. But the other problem then is this becomes very long. I can't figure out a way to tighten this up at all. Maybe with some CSS, I could do it. That starts taking up a lot of space if I add a bunch of references in there. Again, compared to Rome, which just kind of puts them as the blocks. There's nothing else to it. But the lack of that two-way reference back to the block, um, I think is going to be very useful for a lot of my notes. And so that's a big piece too. And then, like I mentioned, the WYSIWYG. The what you see is what you get. Here, it's all in one view. I mean, granted, things aren't clickable if you're editing them. Um, same with like block references and stuff. But when you're not, they're editable, they're clickable. Obsidian, either you need to do the preview to actually see some references or do like shift click and you can do some other things to get around it. But I don't want to switch to a different system and have a lot of things to get around that already work just fine in Rome. So I think a lot of these will take care of themselves over time. I know block references have come a long way already in Obsidian. WYSIWYG's on their, on their roadmap. Chromebooks, they're going to have better ways to install that. To-dos, they've made progress with. So a lot of this stuff is going to come along with Obsidian eventually. But for my system right now, I just can't do it. It's just not there yet. But again, kudos to their team. I still follow the Discord. Looking forward to seeing what they do next. And uh, yeah, at some point, maybe I'll switch over. But for now, Rome is still a clear winner in my book.